So in the last section, you'll learn that in the client-side JavaScript that we run inside of browsers, when we declare a variable or a function that is added to the global scope. For example, when we define a function, like say hello, that function is added to the global scope and it's available via the window object. Now, there is a problem with this behavior. In a real world application, we often split our JavaScript code into multiple files. So it is possible that we have two files and in both these files, we define this function, say hello, with the exact same name. Because this function is added to the global scope, when we define this function in another file, that new definition is going to overwrite the previous definition. So this is the problem with the global scope. So in order to build reliable and maintainable applications, we should avoid defining variables and functions in the global scope. Instead, we need modularity. We need to create small building blocks or modules where we define our variables and functions. So two variables or two functions with the same name don't overwrite another variable or function defined somewhere else. They're encapsulated inside of that module. Now, at the core of Node, we have this concept called module. So every file in a Node application is considered a module. The variables and functions we define in that file or that module are scoped to that file. In object-oriented programming terms, we say they are private. They are not available outside that container, outside that module. If you want to use a variable or a function defined in a module outside that module, you need to explicitly export it and make it public. And we're going to look at that in the next lecture. So what I want you to take away from this lecture is that every node application has at least one file or one module, which we call the main module. So in this case, this app.js is our main module. Now let me show you this module. So I'm going to delete all this code here and do a console.log of module. Now this module object here may appear to be global. So you may think we can access it via the global object, like global.console. But actually, this is not a global object. It appears to be global, but it's not global. And you will find out why very soon. So let's just log this module object and see what we see in the console. Back in the terminal, node app.js. So you can see we have an object, module. It's a JSON object with these key value pairs. So we have ID. Every module has an ID or a unique identifier. We have exports, parent, file name, which is the complete path to that file. Loaded, which is a Boolean that determines if this module is loaded or not. We have children and paths. Now for now, don't worry about these properties. As we go through this section, you will gradually become familiar with these properties. So in Node, every file, is a module and the variables and functions defined in that file are scoped to that module. They are not available outside of that module. In the next lecture, you're going to learn how to create and load a module. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real world. And also, at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.